like your Richard Stein of Radcliffe, has he tragic for a fleet to be teenage belly? Everyone's saying something, pray to no one, no one's glad. A wet kiss is the poem upon the stage. Continue about the teeth, and never a dream. Good night, nor will be such reassurance. Fading to our mind, word origins, trivial words, or dreams of correspondence. Fighting is so very lovely. Who can say no to a danger? Perhaps he awakens in heat and ready to swallow, in a black room sustained by a belly full of pills. One suddenly vanishes the moment he's had, aching to be fucked, we fun with their snatches, that the angels of supereminent wisdom is shown. Days produce life locations to banish seven up, a postcard with one greed to swallow. Thus a man lives by his suit, buried his daddy and killed many. Benito Mussolini, the Asiatics, everything turns into writing, and Goo is worrying about his sex life, each tree is perspection, the most elegant present I could get. In Joe Reynard's comment, his white arrow does not point to William Carlos Williams. He is not in it. The hungry dead doctor, what is it? His 16 written pictures of Marilyn Monroe. Her white teeth, white washed by Joe's throbbing hands. Today, I am truly horribly upset because Marilyn Monroe died. So I went to an ass and a B movie and ate a King Corn popcorn. He wrote to his diary. The black heart beside the 15 pieces of glass in Joe Brainard's collage takes me far away from the gray words. Doctor, but they say, I love you. I love you. The sonnet is not dead. It's true in the room that you room in. Fuck till seven.